What is up guys? Henny coming at you with another video. So this one guys is a really good story. I really enjoy this story. Um, it is about an army of, I'm not sure exactly what rank he was, but it has an army soldier. His name is Clint Romashaw. Uh, Clinton, I can't remember his middle name, Clinton Romashaw. Uh, you guys might have heard about him before. He's the Medal of Honor recipient um, from the, I guess you could call it the Battle of Kop Keating. Uh, Kop Keating is a command outpost in Afghanistan. Um, and let me let me explain Kop Keating a little bit to you guys here. So it's very remote, it's desolate, and it is very far away from any other air bases or any other sort of uh, facilities that could help them in any way. Very far out. And Cop Keating is also uh, located in one of the tactically worst positions you guys could ever imagine. So it's about the size of a football field and a half maybe, and it is in the bottom of desolate hills. I mean, you can imagine these gigantic hills and this little itty bitty speck. I mean, it's not small, it's the size of a football field like I said, but you tactically anybody knows that, that you do not want to be fighting anybody uphill. You are screwed. Anyways, Clint knew this, um, and so did all of his guys, and this story isn't just about Clint. This is, um, I mean, this goes out to all of those guys there. Clint has a book, um, I believe it's called Red Platoon, and in the book he talks about how this Medal of Honor that he got, that's not his, this is not Clint Romase's Medal of Honor, this is for his men. This, 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 um, Medal of Honor was given out, um, for hit from from his views to his whole platoon, not just him, because of their actions, and that's that's said from his point of view. Now let me tell you what this, what this guy did. So they're in Cop Keating, right? And they're getting they're getting action once, twice a day. Small arms fire, usually RPGs every once in a while, right? So 6 a.m. Um, the they're the CEOs, uh, the chief officers, they're gone. So the only people in command you have. Uh, Clint Romashaw, uh, which I believe, uh, I believe his rank is sergeant, but don't quote me on that. Um, and then you have another acting um, specialist or someone else who's filling in for the the command, um, and and that is uh, I cannot think of his name off the top of my head, but he's a really cool guy. Uh, when I figure out the name, I'll let you know. Anyway, so these two get up. It's about 6 a.m. Uh, and all of a sudden, they're just getting hammered, uh, just. I mean, hammered, guys. In the video, it shows these guys just getting rained on. RPGs, mortar rounds, 7.62 AK-47s, Dragonovs. I mean, dude, they're just getting lit up. Snipers, everything just going off in every which sort of direction. So they get up, they suit up, they put on their K-Pods, they get ready, uh, and they head out. They go out and they see what's going on. And the first thing Clint realizes is, oh shit, uh, I'm the commanding officer and I'm the only one actively here at the moment. And he realizes, well, I need to round up all my men and I need to find out where they're at and what is going on. So he rounds up uh, what he can find, does a head count of about five, six guys, and he pulls himself into the command post and he says, okay, this is what we need to do. We got guys in Humvees pinned down. We got guys uh, out of the command post pinned down in the hills. We need to get these guys. We need to find these guys. Um, and all the other guys are looking around like, yeah, that's a good idea, man, but these guys, th this now imagine this, the Taliban are now pushing into the base as they're talking and conversating. Taliban soldiers, 40, 50 of them, are pushing into the command post. They have now entered the football field. They call it in the wire. So they come over and they say, guys, 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 we have Taliban in the wire. That means there is Taliban in the command post. So Clint says, no, fuck that, guys. He loads up his guns. He goes and gets up as many men as he can. Uh, I think he gets about 12 to 15 guys. All together on Cop Keating, there's about 50 personnel, military personnel, U.S. Army men uh, and women. Um, and so, where was that? Yeah, uh, there's about 400 Taliban. 300 to 400 Taliban. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and they start entering the front of the base. So he rounds up about 16, 7, 15, 16 guys, and he says, look guys, they're getting in the base, but sitting here, we're gonna die, you know? Let's get up, let's go get these guys, let's show them whose base we are, you know, like, let's show them who we're fucking with, right? So uh, he gets these boys riled up, and let me tell you, in the video, if Clint did not do what he did, if he did not step up 
and be the man that he was that day and get those guys riled up, they all would have been killed. Every single life in Cop Keating that day, I mean, they're not, that's not, don't trust what I'm saying. This is what I heard from uh, a sergeant or a major. And these guys are saying these things, you know. They thought they were going to die. 400 against 50, those are not good odds. Anyways, uh, he gets those guys together and he says, well, we're going to split into two teams. Alpha and Bravo Company. Alpha is going to push up to the front gate. We're going to take out as many of these bastards as we can. And Bravo, you're going to come up and show fire support. Um, so they push up. Alpha team pushes up to the front gate. Now they're about 50 meters from the front gate and they're just laying people down. Um, Bravo Company gets pinned down. So they're screwed. Like, oh, what are they going to, you know, what are you going to do? Um, he, so it's basically just six guys and Clint and that's Alpha Company and they're at this front gate and here comes 25, 30 Taliban rushing into the door and they're just trying to keep things calm and cool and collect. Uh, he takes, I mean, I think he took a round. I remember seeing in the video that uh, his arm was, his whole arm was really bloody. I'm not sure. They never said for sure if he did or not, but I know uh, he's just taking mortar fire. He got blown up uh, partially by a mortar and, uh, and you know, small arms fire. I'm assuming he got shot a couple times. Uh, anyways, so with sustained injuries and with uh, what is going on, those guys getting attacked, Hail Marys in the left and right. Um, basically, th this guy Clint, he uh, he gets the he secures the base. He secured the base. Those I don't know, maybe 15, 20 men, and that sergeant. I guess he's a sergeant. I'm not sure. Uh, Clint Romache. They got together. They put aside their differences and had just a badassery of a firefight. Man, it's just I. I couldn't even imagine it, you guys. Honestly, I couldn't imagine what was going through his mind. I couldn't imagine what was going through the mind of his soldiers other than we're fucked. Um, but definitely go check it out. It is a very, very good story. Very good story. Uh, like I said, Clint turns it all around. Um, at the very end of the video, they end up... Um, the Taliban retreat. Yeah. That's right, you don't fuck with us Americans. The Taliban retreated, yes sir, all 300 of them. Well, what was left of them, anyways. Uh, and I think all together, and, I'm, and I'm, don't quote me on this, but I believe there was nine lives lost at Cobb Keating. And I, honestly, if I could remember the name of every soldier, I would list them off right now and tell you guys, but uh, fortunately, I don't. I just watched the video last night. But if you want to check it out, it's on Netflix. Um, it's called Medal of Honor, and it is a very, very good show. Check it out. Um, if you guys like what I have to say, if you're liking my videos and what's going on, um, check out my Facebook at Zach Henny. That's H double N Y Zach Henny. Or uh, yeah, just keep checking it out here because I'm gonna keep posting these videos if you like them or not. So hopefully you guys like them. Have a wonderful day, Henny. Out.